Hey guys, it's Marcus from Perspective Sports, and today we're going to look at three college football programs that belong in different conferences. Because these three programs have outgrown their current conference, so to speak. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. Number one is Brigham Young University. Now before you guys comment, BYU is not in the conference. I know they're independent. I don't believe they should remain independent, simply because well, number one is too hard to schedule. BYU has to schedule all 12 of their games, albeit home-home series, home-home neutral series, etc., just like anyone else. But if you're in a conference, you just have to schedule four non-conference games. That's it. And if BYU ever wants to be considered for the college football playoffs, they have to jump into a conference. Simple as that. BYU's strength of schedule isn't going to be as strong as your Alabamas, Ohio States, and teams like that because they're independents, and it's hard to find a high-quality team to play during conference play. BYU has to play Southern Utah this weekend. No disrespect to Southern Utah, but if BYU was 9-0 heading into this weekend, do you really think the committee would value a win over Southern Utah? The answer is no. BYU is currently ranked 31st in total strength of schedule, which is not bad, but not great. Last season was 45th, and the year before that was 58th in total strength of schedule. Second reason being, it'll help that recruiting out tremendously. BYU currently has the 95th rated recruiting class according to 24-7 Sports. 95th. Over the last five years, their average rated recruiting class has finished 68th in the country. And don't give me, it's their location rebuttal because schools, a school up the street like Utah that's in the Pac-12 has an average rating of 49th in recruiting class if you remove this 2017 year. Overall, BYU will really benefit from being in the right conference, and I believe the right conference for BYU would be the Pacific 12 or Pac-12. Up next is Boise State University. Yes, you knew the lovable Boise State Broncos would make the list. Besides playing on unique blue turf, the Broncos have done a lot of impressive things over the last nine years. Boise State has compiled a total record of 98-8 and and 13-5 and against Power 5 conferences, in, during that span, winning two Fiesta Bowls and never forget the Broncos' stunning win in the 2006 Fiesta Bowl over Oklahoma, where the game was actually one of the best games, if not the best game I have ever watched. Boise State has proven time and time again, despite not having the best recruiting classes or constant media coverage, that they can hang with the quote-unquote big boys. Boise State has dominated the Mountain West Conference since its arrival in 2011, compiling a record of 37-9. and Boise State is about winning and winning now. Think about this stat. Since Boise State made the d jump to Division One in 1996, since 1999, they have not missed a bowl game, compiling an 11-5 record in the bowl games. Overall, I think a good fit for Boise State would be the Pac-12 Conference because the Pac-12 and the Boise State Broncos are quite familiar with each other. Boise State has compiled a 10-3 record against the conference since 2010. And finally, we have North Dakota State University. The FCS powerhouse are currently in the Missouri Valley Conference, which is rated the best conference in the FCS, but it's time to move on to bigger and better things for North Dakota State. North Dakota State has dominated the FCS, especially in these last five seasons. North Dakota State over the last five seasons have been 14-1, 14-1, 15-0, 15-1, and 13-2. And you know what they won during all of those seasons? The championship. North Dakota State are the five-time FCS defending champions, are, and they're also currently 8-1 and one right now. And if I had to bet on a team to win the championship, it'd most definitely be North Dakota State. Over the last five and a half years, they have not only compiled a record of 79-6, and six, but they're 6-0 and against FBF schools and 5-0 and against Power 5 schools. And if that's not a sign to move up, I don't know what is. A good fit for North Dakota State would be the Mountain West Conference. They're not quite on the level of the FBS powerhouses yet, and it's going to take time for North Dakota State to get situated, so to speak, at the FBS level. Because playing Iowa here and there isn't like playing Iowa and then traveling to play Ohio State followed by Michigan. I don't think they're ready for that time, that kind of schedule just yet. There you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed. Where do you think these schools should move to? Or do you have schools that you feel should move to different conferences? Let us know in the comment section. See you guys next time.